No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. You all saw it. Will Smith versus Chris Rock. It was kind of a one-sided affair. I'm going to show you the highlight right here, but more importantly, I'm going to tell you why it matters and what Chris Rock was thinking when he stymied himself from saying something to Willie. A lot of people believe that this was staged. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> That was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my wife's name out your mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your no! I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Now, a lot of people are wondering whether it was staged. According to my friend, Sandro Minetti, a famed entertainment reporter, also working for BBC and the CNN, specifically about the Oscars, it was not staged. It was a moment that I'm sure that Will Smith wishes that he would take back. Now, Out your mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. In terms about what Chris Rock was thinking when he stymied himself, yo, you did that to a man who made a joke about G.I. Jane. What do you do to the men that stick it inside of Jada? Oh wait, that was done with your permission. Or is it that there are too many of them? That is what Chris Rock was going to go to. Kind of wish he had, because Will Smith had it coming and would have deserved it if this thing had not been staged or planned, and my friend Sandra claims it's not. Now, as to why it's important, yo, the radical left wants to make this acceptable. They want to destroy freedom of speech, and this is another chisel that they are taking to that foundational bedrock of our society. You know, the difference is that with freedom of speech, you allow differences to be solved peacefully through the verbal channels. And when you go to the physical, well, that just begets more physical. And that is where you draw a hard line. And people like Ayanna Pressley, who has alopecia herself, probably because she's an evil person, I'm saying that there is a correlation. I'm not being a medical expert. You guys consult your own doctor on that point. But she stated that go way to go, Will Smith, and then deleted the tweet. Same with Jamal Bowman, both radical left members of the squad. Look, this is about freedom of speech. And if you are make it acceptable to enact violence against a comedian, if you go down that slippery slope, you unearth those rocks and create that avalanche that allows that to take place because it becomes part of the zeitgeist of society, then that ends free expression, free discussion. People are going to be on the edge of their seats. They're not going to go. They're not going to test where the line is. The line is going to be pushed back and back and back to where the jesters can't even make fun of the absolute abject clowns that are in charge, like Diana Presley and Jamal Bowman and all the other radical leftists that want to support this. The same thing with Antifa. They right now are making terroristic threats against conservative groups in Seattle who shut down their events based on said threats. Why? Because they disagree with the speech of the conservative group. So they enact the threat of violence, which is the definition of terrorism, to shut it down. And they are making this a legitimate process because, hey, we are the deciders. We are in the mainstream. They want to put themselves there and we decide what is and what is not socially correct for society and then use violence as a means of enforcing these rules. That is what's going on here and that is what is at stake and that is why it's important to condemn Will the Cuck Smith, who has an open relationship with Jada Pinkett Smith. Okay, so be it. But don't act all moral when somebody makes a joke about your wife and think that you can go up there and slap him in front of the national and worldwide audience, you cuck. So stand up for free speech and condemn Will Smith's action. 
Violence is never the answer to speech, no matter how strongly you might disagree with it. Peace and blessings, guys. Thumb up this video. If you liked it, share it, subscribe, hit the all notification bell if you do. Peace out.